Streamlabs Best Mic Filters Using the best microphone filters in Streamlabs makes your voice sound awesome and removes annoying background noise for a better streaming vibe. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So the first things first is you're going to go here in the mixer and you're going to look for your microphone. As you can see, this is mine here. I'm just going to go ahead and click. I'm just going to go ahead and click this one here and we're going to open filters. All right, so as you can see, we haven't added any filters yet. So we're going to start adding right now. So the first thing that we are going to add is a gain. So this one here is very important. Click this one here to start adding. So for the gain, this is very important, especially if your microphone is very loud. If your microphone is very loud, then you would want to reduce this one. In my case, my microphone is really not that loud. So I tend to increase this one to about five. All right, so that is okay. Or you can just go ahead and adjust that one. Try to check here now again the reason why i'm increasing this one is because my microphone is not that loud now another thing that we are going to add is noise suppression so noise suppression is very important as well i'm going to click add and then i want you to choose between the method so the method here is going to either be speaks or rn noise so i'm going to choose rn noise as you can see here it says good quality and more cpu usage i think my cpu can handle more than enough so i'm going to add it there now another thing that we are going to add is a noise gate all right click add once again all right and then this is where we're going to be playing so for the close threshold we're going to adjust this one i'm going to adjust it to negative 35. so basically what is saying is that any kind of noise that is below negative 35 decibels is not going to be picked up so that is the important of the close threshold it is a little bit different from that of noise suppression for the open threshold i'm going to adjust this one to negative 25 i think this is the sweet spot for me so basically open threshold is going to pick up sounds starting from negative 25 decibels so that is what this is all about of course you can go ahead and try to adjust this to see what is your sweet spot and then the last thing that we are going to add is a compressor i'm going to click this one and click add so for the ratio i usually just leave it at that for the threshold we're going to change this one so how the threshold works is that once it reaches the set threshold the compressor is going to begin to apply the ratio you've set so again the ratio that we have set is 10 so we're going to adjust this one also so for this one, I'm going to adjust this to negative 25. Okay, I think that is going to be okay. Now for the attack, I'm going to leave it at 6. For the release, still leaving it at 60. Now output gain, uh, this is something that I usually increase a little bit, but it doesn't really have to be very much. So I just usually leave it to 1.622. So that is going to be okay. Side chain or docking source, you can just leave it at none. And then once everything is done, just go ahead and close this one and you should be able to feel a lot of differences with regards to your microphone settings. But yeah, that is how you're going to get the best mic filters in Streamlabs. And by the way, I would highly suggest to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra to level up your streaming quality and experience. You can save up the $10 of discount right away after clicking on the link in the description box and the comment section below. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you out.